one-sided here. I've, all I really have is, is offensive power. I don't have a lot for uh, buffs that I can use or, or defense. So let's get out of here. I'm going to uh, use a house. The only thing that does concern me a little bit 
is the, uh, the fact that I'm... one-sided here. I've, all I really have is, is offensive power. I don't have a lot for uh, buffs that I can use or, or defense. Learn fast, and I didn't realize that. So I'm a little bit um, nerfed in terms of what I can do. I'm pretty. I'm pretty, um, I'm, I'm pretty one-sided here. I've, all I really have is, is offensive power. I don't have a lot for uh, buffs that I can use. Or, or defense. So let's get out of here. I'm going to uh, do the house. The only thing that does concern me a little bit is the uh, the fact that I'm running low on those heal potions. So we'll see if I can make it down to the bottom with as many heals as I have. Another part of the of this part type hack is that the river system has been rerouted. It's been, the world map's actually been changed. Actually, I might use this for a little bit of free healing if I can. So the, the canoe trip back to the nearest town is a very, very long one. It takes a long time to get back to Crescent Lake. And I'm actually not sure if I'd be able to find it easily if I tried it because it was so complicated. Alright. Um, so let me make sure I've used all of my spells here. Okay. I might use another cabin to get some more health. Alright, now let's use that house. Magic back. And I should be pretty close to full. Alright. So now I can continue straight on to... The next, uh, the next floor. And just like before, I'm going to try my very, very hardest to run from as many battles as I can. But uh, as you can see, many of the battles here are now unrunnable. And they tell you it's unrunnable, so that's a nice service that uh, ZZ Zonk Miles is the name of the uh, designer of this hack. ZZ was nice enough to put that in there, that if the battle is unescapable, it says no escape at the very beginning. These guys cast slow, uh, so if they get their attack off before my characters, they can really nerf us pretty badly. But thankfully, we got our attacks off first, so pretty trivial. Alright, so the stairs, instead of being down at the bottom left of this map where they normally are, they're up here. And you know what? I think I missed that chest. But I'm just gonna go on. And I'm just gonna... I'm gonna risk it that that one's not uh, anything that I need. Maybe if I do get killed down here, I will come back for that one. But I think I forgot to run up there after that chest. Although maybe I did. I don't now remember. That's okay. If I do find out that it was something that I needed, I can always come back for it. I can do that off-stream. I've been doing a lot of off-stream grinding with this one to get my party uh, ready to go. Alright. I'm going to try to uh, get as few lava burns as I can. Though the lava burns are probably better than uh, unrunnable battles. Okay, here's actually not too bad a combination of enemies. Because it seems like the Cerberus, instead of doing Scorch, it looks like they're doing this new ability called Sin that's just a single targeting. The Scorch ability that they use in the NES version is quite, uh, 
quite devastating because it's an all-targeting fire spell that uh, hits everybody for pretty decent damage. Cool. And this floor layout looks different. It looks like the, the lava has been reduced. If, if I remember correctly, this layout had lots of lava on it in the NES version, although I might not quite be remembering that perfectly. And the encounters on this floor actually look a lot better than the, the ones on the, the last floor, thankfully. Strike first. Alright, well, let's see if I can take this guy out quickly. I probably can with the kind of offensive output that I have. Yeah, the one shot. Should have done that with the other one. But even with the levels as high as, high as they are, it's still difficult um, with the resources I have to make it through this floor. I think normally you can head straight to the left from the stairs on this floor, but uh, looks like a, a barrier has been put in my way there. Because a lot of these dungeon floor layouts have been changed, as I said before. So I'm kind of being funneled through here. Alright, so that's a dead end that way. Alright, lava straight up. So it looks like it looks like I'm just being funneled through this floor. Which uh is is both both good and bad when it comes to re to reviewing that. And it's nice that I don't have to do a ton of extra exploring when my resources are already running a little bit low. So maybe uh, the designer decided to have most of your exploring happen up on the second floor there, up near the top of the dungeon, uh, and left as you make your way down to, uh, to the end. So if that is the case, I certainly appreciate that from a player standpoint. It's nice to have most of the risk up front when, uh, when it's not as dangerous. Okay, so this is so this is just a long floor. Okay, and that's a dead end that way. And the the encounters are not so bad on these last couple floors. That's been really nice to not have. Uh, you know, even though this is this is no retreat, but the, the Cerberuses aren't doing their multi-targeting stuff. That Singe spell is a little bit nasty, but... And the, the Ice from the Wizard Ogres, that's why I'm, I'm hoping to get my fighters attacking those Wizard Ogres first, because they can one-shot them before they get their Ice attack off. And, uh... All of the, the standard Fire, Ice, and Lit spells are now uh, all targeting in this game, so for your party also, Fire, Ice, and Lit are also all targeting. Which is handy. Uh, especially in the early game there, when you've got groups of enemies. You can just cast fire and take out a group of, you know, imps or whatever. Uh, hello, Ark. Thank you for stopping by and introducing yourself with the Salt Shaker. Okay, this one's not too nasty. And it's not great but not too bad. Alright, so I could have split my attacks up a little bit differently. At least he's, they're not combined with those, uh, those Hellbats, those red goils that uh, cast slow on me. Those guys are pretty nasty. I'm sure is this going to be trapped every step? Wow. Wow. I can't wait to see Ar Ark's reaction to this. We get we get a trap square and then a trap square with a a red dragon right after it. That's nice. That's nice. I'm actually I'm gonna have to save my ice twos, I think. If I'm gonna be I'm gonna have to be doing this later. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, see that's a that's a super nasty attack. Blazes is not a great attack. I was hoping to get him 
before that. I think that might be the first time I've run into to Blaze. Um, boy, oh boy. Yeah, Ark, um, I think when when you get to a point where you can't outgrind dungeons anymore, Ark, I think you're going to have to just go for, uh, for good luck. I think that's going to be the name of the game. Is just hope for good luck. Alright, so it's three trap squares in a row. Um, although the, this is not, this is not a bad, this is not too bad a grouping, I should say. It is, it is not a great grouping. It's with that Soria there that can do the stone attack. But really my biggest foe here is going to be, uh, just hit point damage because I'm running so low on heal potions. That's going to be my biggest obstacle. <laughs> what can you say at that? I don't know. What what can what can anyone say at that? Yep. That's that's what I'm thinking, Ark. Uh, as I, I hope that not uh, every square on my way out is also spiked. Although, we'll see. Let's see if this was worth it. No, it wasn't worth it. I don't need money at all. I don't need money at all. But, uh, yeah, my biggest foe is going to be just hit point damage uh, for the rest of this dungeon. And if I do end up getting nerfed, Oh, mercy. Who's got next barrier? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Well, if I, if I get another good attack off, I actually might first round him. Okay. Well, thankfully, I got him before he got his blaze attack off. Alright, there we go. Onward we go. <laughs> Alright. You know, these normally have good stuff in them, but uh, I don't know if it's—I don't know if it's worth um, finding out what's in these. I mean, that's a nice amount of gold. I don't need gold, but if there's a nice weapon or something, that might be worth worth grabbing. But let me continue on. I'm gonna see if I can get to the end. I'll—I'll I'll try that. Um, I'll try that chest that has the the flame armor in it and see what's over there. I bet that's going to be full of, of trap stuff. Alright, that doesn't really do much to us. The Void Spell I don't think does anything to you. Well, Ark, you're right. I mean, uh, could have just spiked um, all of the adjacent tiles to the, to the chest, but... Um, <laughs> but but that would be less, you know, that would be less extreme. You know, this is meant to be uh, a pretty extreme challenge. And it's, you know, it's making me work harder or, uh, or you know, I have to make sacrifices. You know, skipping that chest is something I never would normally have to do in uh, a vanilla version of, of probably any RPG. If you're sufficiently leveled of just about any RPG, you shouldn't have to make tough choices like that. And see, like this one, I think normally this one has the two um, Agama battles. They're the two trapped battles with the Agamas that you can actually, with the heal staff, you can regain all your extra hit points. <laughs> well, work harder. It does mean extra hours of grind. Um, but I also just mean it's, it's making me make a lot of, of economical decisions, you know, keeping my characters not necessarily full health because I would be running out of heal potions constantly. Oh, maybe, it's, maybe it was that one that has the two Agma battles, but... You just beat the FF3 remake? Very good. Very good. Oh, there's a warp tile out, eh? 
I bet it's trapped every square. I don't I don't need to warp out, but I bet it's I bet it's also trapped, um, just like the one in the Earth Cave was. Cause yeah, we're already this is the last floor, so I, I wouldn't want to warp out just before the last floor. All right, so let's see what kind of nonsense is waiting for me here. Let's heal up for this. Whatever this is. If it's something... If it's Red Dragon, I can probably handle it. Um, because I, I will try to get X Barrier off before it, uh... Before it gets the Singe attack. Alright, so this is normally a trap square. So I was I'm expecting this. This is no problem. Actually, yeah, I'm not gonna do that ice attack. Let's do that. Let's go up to this attack of the giant. Two attacks should well. The sorry I got my got my fighters. I was kind of gambling a little bit on that. So that Soria can it can do glance, but it also I think it just has um, status attack. Stone. There we go. So yeah, FF3. But the the thing that I would keep in mind about about you know a, a retail release like FF3 is it, it's not meant to be a you know a challenge version of a game. So it would it would be balanced to uh, to reward good party composition as you said, um, and to not really require a lot of excessive grinding. Now this being a challenge run of the game, you know, it says right on the label, it says expect to, uh, to game over and, and retry a lot of things. And with my with my power leveling, it's made it a little bit smoother for streaming. Which So I'm, I'm glad that I've done as much power leveling as I have. It's not super fun to power level, but um, I think for streaming purposes, it's probably the only way to go. So that I can kind of dungeon crawl uh, rather blind, blind-ish. Uh, let me see if I have any more. Okay, he's got super spells. I'm gonna try and save my last ten or so heal potions for carry if I can get there. Yeah, and I have never played SMT. Um, or, so I, I can't. I, I understand that it's that it's well. Well regarded, well renowned. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, just a regular red D. So that's not so bad, actually. So SMT is yeah. I've heard it's meant to be kind of a a, a challenging, challenging game. All right. Um, I think. Okay, yeah. I'm, I think I'm probably doing less damage with my ice twos than just with regular attacks. All right, Axis Armor. Um, let me see what Axis Armor does for me. All right. I'm not sure who can equip it, but let me take a look. All right, so he has 5454. Now, 62.46. Okay, so quite a bit more absorb, um, but a lot a lot less on the evade, but I'll, I'll take that, I think. Um, if ever get a chance, try Digital Devil Saga. Okay, Digital Devil Saga. I'll have to remember that to check those out. It'll be a while before I have access to my PS2 again, but um, Digital Devil Saga. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Alright, so here's going to be another trapped battle. Alright, not a big deal. Okay, so I should start with the first Digital Devil Saga. Then. Ooh, that was a nasty, nasty crit to have to eat. Don't love that. So I should be using the like the very last of my heal potions. 
just before I fight Carrie, I'll probably have to use the very last of my heal potions. And so the Agamas seem to definitely have more hit points. I can't speak about the Red Giants and the like, but the Agamas definitely seem to have uh, been boosted. Alright, completely out of cures for him. And for him. Alright, so I have a measly 10 heal potions left. I think, I think there's another trap square here. Nope, that wasn't trapped. Okay, so it looks like... Oh, this is a no escape battle. This was a nasty one. These mutants are uh, really nasty. Enemies. I'm hoping I can at least get to see Carrie here, but I, I, it looks like the floor layout has been changed down here, so I hope she's in the same place or near the same place. I fought one of these guys out on the world map. Okay, I've also heard Persona games, uh, I, I've heard more about them. They, they don't sound as appealing to me. Um, I'm, I'm a little less interested in in anime references, and I'm also a little less interested in, um, modern setting kinds of games like that. Alright. Where is Carrie? Oh, there's another treasure chest here. So I might as well see what... Might as well see what this is doing. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough resources to to finish this floor, though. I'm a little scared. I'm, I'm trying to decide. So this is where a uh, hack like this does really build tension. Because um, I'm, I'm totally totally out of resources. I'd like to beat Carrie. Um, I don't really want to come back down here for, you know, stuff. I mean, I will if I need to, but I don't really want to have to come back down here, especially on stream, to have to come back down to the same dungeon. For stuff, but if Carrie waters me, um, then of course I'll have to anyway. And so, and I'm like, I wonder if this is going to be trap squares going all the way, you know, every single square. Yeah, it looks there's going to be three trap squares. So I'm going to have to hope for good luck on the dragon here. All right, please. Bad news. Yeah. That was really just, I needed uh, to get a couple of attacks off before he cast his blaze. Well, now I might as well just see what's in here. If I if I even can. If I can get there. Ah, oh, this is a bad one to run into. This actually might be this actually might be the end here if I get turned to stone. That's okay. What I might do if I if I end up getting nerfed here is uh, I think I will have to I'll run back to town and grab some more heal potions because I used a bunch of them on the first floor um, or that that treasure floor. It's, it's the second floor, I guess, on the treasure floor. I used a bunch of them there before I came back out and, and saved with the house. Um, thinking I would have enough, but I just just did for, for this party with this setup. But I would like to see what's in this other chest. At least, if, I'd like to win this battle so I can at least see what's in this other chest. But I don't think I'm even going to see that. Alright, if I get... Very lucky here, I might see what's in this chest. Yeah. Alright, yeah, no, this, this is what I mean. I, I need to run back here now and get it. Uh, I used so many heal potions uh, on my first, my first run. And without access to the free healing from... Oops, from the heal staff to keep me going throughout without using potion after potion. After run, I just have to try to remember what the root is. 
back to the volcano so I don't have to run around because there, it is the river system has changed. So I was a little bit greedy with time. I, was, I thought, ah, oh, I won't go back and I won't go back and refill my heal potions. But that was the limiting factor for me is I just ran out of heal potions. That's what kept me from succeeding on that last one. Yeah, Ark, I, I was thinking that too. I think when you go to the mini-map, it, uh, it hasn't been altered, but, uh, but, but the mini-map, I was actually commenting earlier, the mini-map in this game, especially for the river system, it isn't descriptive enough anyway, in my opinion. Alright, so yeah, Provoca looks like it's the closer town form. The mini-map isn't descriptive enough for the river. You can't really tell where you're going on the river anyway from the mini-map. So, I think even if that did change with um, the editor's changes to the map, it still wouldn't be very helpful. Alright, so I'm glad that this town is a lot closer than... Um, than Crescent Lake, because Crescent Lake was a, was a while, or the item shop's over here. Alright. So I'm going to restock my potions, and before I head back over there, I'm going to take a quick break before I head back down for another try at the volcano. I have a new Be Right Back card that I've been itching to try out. I'll stock up here, and then I'll uh, I'll try out my new Be Right Back card. Yeah, yeah, they they may be able to. You may be right about that. They may be able to to cut out the the mini map, make more room. I'm not. Oh, this is a, this is a bad uh, spot for him to be hanging out on my bridge. Alright. Actually, what I might do... I might buy a bunch of cabins. There we go. So I can uh, get a little bit more hit points when I come back out of those. So I am going to take just a quick break here. I will be back in 30 seconds or so. Under a minute, I'll be back. And I'm going to try out my new, uh, my new Be Right Back card. Interesting uh, topic of discussion. Yeah, I'm glad I had an easy, easy time getting back. If I can only remember the 
best way down to the volcano, but it's nice to know that it's that it's that close. So this time I will I'll take a look at some of those other chests on the way down. The ones that I was skipping. I should have enough resources now to to keep myself healthy through that. Uh, was it this way. I was a little worried about that my potion level before anyway. So shouldn't have uh, I shouldn't have tried to go back in with only 42. I didn't realize it was that low. I guess I should have taken a, a closer look. Should have thought that out a little better. Okay, we're there. So it's not too bad a trek to the volcano. Well, Goblins, I I don't have the expertise to uh, to port this ROM hack into the PSP version. Uh, somewhere does. Although I would imagine um, patching and, and hacking uh, more sophisticated systems like that is probably a little bit more of a job than uh, or my cabins. So they are one of those than the, these NES conversions. But uh, it is it is rather fun. I mean, it really it uh, it is quite quite head bangingly difficult, uh, and there's a lot of really nasty stuff like this you can run into. But, um, and you do have to grind a lot. Now, I'd, I'd probably have to grind less if I had a more versatile party. If I had a white mage and a black mage, um, then, you know, I might be able to do this a little bit less grinding. Well, if you're a programmer, then I'm sure you could, you could knock it out. So I would go, if you haven't already, check out the, um, the gamehacking.net. Abuse isn't love. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. But, but, uh, Goblies, if you are a, um, a programmer, you know what? I'm gonna split my attacks up. Then you can, uh, yeah, you can take a look. Yeah, so Goblies, I, I did choose this party. Um, now in the NES version, this is kind of the standard power party. And I did not realize before I started this game when I picked this party, um, that a lot of the things that make this so powerful in the NES had been cut or, or had been nerfed in this version. So, uh, like I was just talking about before, normally you can use the red mages to learn fast in the NES version, and you can just fast your fighters, and you can get through any boss battle you want with two fasted fighters. You just pile on the damage. Um, but in this one, red mages can't learn fast, only red wizards can. Um, in the Final Fantasy Restored games, where temper works, you can double the effect of your of your fast, basically, by casting temper on your fighters, and then fasting them. Fighters or your black belts, if you're using black belts, you can do that too. But uh, in this one, they can learn neither temper, which does work in this game, in this hack that's been fixed, um, nor fast. Now, when they go up to Red Wizards, I will suddenly become a lot more powerful. You did a four Black Mage run? So that would be kind of a fun variant of this one. I did, or I read a write-up from uh, another Final Fantasy variant player named Sula, who does a lot of, uh, a lot of that. Ooh, the Grey Worms are called Beaches. That's interesting. I'm just going to get a screenshot of that one for my hopefully right up someday. I'm also uh, tweeting a lot of, of screenshots of this one to kind of just keep a record of it. And actually, I meant to tell you, Ark, um, I heard from, from ZZ himself. He left a comment on... Uh, the YouTube video of this that I that I was doing. Um, he just uh, gave me gave me a nod for for streaming the um, the patch. And he said he had a couple of little things that he was thinking about adding um, based on some of the feedback that he heard. So 
it was uh, I kept meaning to get in touch with them to tell him that I was streaming it so that he could stop by if he wanted to see somebody stream it and kind of plunk their way through it as I have been. So um, that was it was nice to hear from him. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know, and I don't think he was actually in on any of the streams. He just, I think he saw it on YouTube. I'm not sure if someone tipped him off that there's this crazy guy who's streaming your hack with a uh, a really bad party configuration, and he just looked me up from that. Oh yeah, that. Um, Yeah, the, the damage tiles here, and I need to remember to not dash through them because it looks really, really bad on my on my stream. I understand. All right, so yeah, see, heal potions are looking a lot better. But I know, I know, Art, your feedback it wasn't uh, wasn't wasn't keeping praise and. You know, I don't think he needs to necessarily have everybody like it. You know, he he made, he made the the hack that he wanted to. Was that strike first? I think that was strike first. Yeah. You know, he made the hack that he wanted to make, and anyone who you know enjoys it and wants to do it can do so. But um, you know, I've I've I I have enjoyed. Okay, so I don't need the money out of this one. So I'm going to skip that first one, uh, but I'm going to try some of the other ones. But it, it has been, you know, the grinding's not been great, but he understood that, I, that grinding, he also mentioned that uh, grinding probably is the way to do it if you're going to stream it. There's probably, you don't want to be blindly um, streaming it without grinding, otherwise you, there would be a lot of game overs and repetitions. But I think that, you know, the point of the game is to, to have a lot of game overs and, and repetitions. That's probably the, the point of the game. Look, now this one wasn't wasn't protected at all. That one wasn't protected at all. Now this normally has a okay, so this still has the same configuration of chests. Uh, but I wonder which of all these tiles is going to be spiked. So I'm going to heal up a little bit here. Especially my first couple guys. This is really the first major healing I've had to do. Okay. Wow. Alright, so here's here's the spike. But it's not so bad. So, but, you know, with a, with a hard-type hack like this for me, and I haven't played very many hard-type hacks. This is really the only hard-type hack I've...
played. Um, but I imagine you're, you're supposed to play through it and, and kind of do a lot of trial and error and, you know, go into a dungeon, get a little ways, figure out what's in there, what you need to do, die, and then you go into the dungeon again, having done the first attempt and know, okay, well, I don't need to go after that chest because that doesn't have something that I want, so I'm going to skip that one, I'm going to go on, because you get further, you get a little further each time. Uh, that's kind of how I interpret this. Alright, Axis Shield, that'll go with my Axis Armor. Which is nice. Um, okay, Axis Shield. I should look up what the Axis shield and armor do. Because I don't know what what uh, resistances they have, if any. And does he have... who has the snow staff? Okay, I must have forgotten to put that on uh, one of these red mages. So I need to do that, because I picked up a snow staff. I think that is a single targeting ice spell. Uh, the snow staff, if I remember correctly. Let me move that, though, to one of these guys. Um, yeah, let's move... Let's move the sun... the sun staff there. Alright. So I got that house. Yeah, it definitely has more usable items. And it's just... it's... Being a total conversion as it is, it just kind of creates a different game, and so, you know, I am enjoying that part of it, that it's a different game that uh, takes a, a familiar theme to me, you know, I know who Carrie is, I know the basic layout of the volcano, but, um, you know, who knows where the trap squares are going to be in this one. Like, I don't know if there's one on the front of that chest, but I'm not going to try. Now, I, I can kind of see that I'm, I'm, I wonder if it was a bit of a joke there to have the very first treasure room be full of spiked squares, and the other treasure rooms are pretty light on them. And I wonder if, if that was done on purpose to kind of make people uh, do what I just did there, where I'm like, oh, I can't, I don't have the resources to uh, even go into those rooms, so I'm just going to skip them. Now, had I beaten Carrie there before, Alright, is this going to be Agamemnon? No, it's going to be two fires. Alright, okay, so Snow Staff is it's all targeting. Does it just cast Ice 1? What a cruel joke. Yeah, well, that's what I'm wondering, if that's, if that's what the joke was. If that's what the thought there was. Okay, so it looks like it just cast Ice 1, maybe? So that's not too bad, though. Um, I'm a little bit leveled beyond where... Ice 1 will do very much damage, but, um, that's okay. And I imagine this one's going to be trapped as well. Yes. There's no step there. Because if it gets into the, yeah, on, on larger groups like this, that'll help. And the, yeah, those Sorias, I think, are weak to ice, so it's nice to be able to knock him out. Uh, that Agama is going to be causing me problems if it starts casting Cremate. But as I said before, I'm already doing much, much better um, on this on this run through now that I've been into the dungeon a time or two, uh, and I know what to look for. So I think I'm playing this the way it was meant to be played. Uh, and interestingly enough, um, also in in Zonk Miles' comment on my YouTube video. Wow, I'm glad I avoided a death there. Uh, he said that generally the level for the Earth Cave, he recommended around 16. Around level 16 for the Earth Cave, which would be... Hey, look at that. A pro ring already, huh? A pro ring already. That's a nice, uh, a nice piece of equipment to find. 
only 20 levels higher than intended. Well, you know, of course, only 20 levels higher than uh, the NES version. And, you know, I, of course, was higher than 16 when I went to the Earth Cave, and I'm probably over-leveled on this floor. Okay, that's the, that's the exit there, so I don't need to go out the exit. Um, but I'll get the Axis armor over here, and then there's that other treasure room over there. I'll have to check out that other treasure room. But I'm, I'm more than prepared for this room now. I've got plenty of potions. I've gotten all the chests that, I'm, that I need to get. Got everything set. I'll get a little bit of free healing here. Oh, you know what? I don't think I equipped the Pro Ring. Uh, Goblet's Pro Ring uh, protects you from instant death attacks. Um, and actually, I forgot to equip it. Just as I was thinking of, ah, I forgot to equip that. I picked it up and forgot to equip it. Uh, but yeah, so it protects you from, from like, the rub spell, uh, but it also gives you pre a pretty decent, um, physical evade. Yeah, but yeah, status is on touch. I, I think probably I still will be vulnerable to those, unless it's, unless it's, that's been tweaked in this version. Um, if that has been tweaked, then that'll be great. But a lot of enemies do have uh, the touch attacks, where, where their their status attack stone like that, or status attack whatever. So uh, we'll see how that works. So if he if he gets attacked by a sorcerer and just dies instantly, then we'll know that uh, it didn't work. <laughs> but at least we'll know for sure. Restored didn't do that either. Okay. So, and Restore just had far fewer enemies that had status attack stuff, like Stone and Dead. Alright, um, check my hit points here before the dragon. Just in case he gets Blaze off. Uh, I'll use one more here. I really want to be cautious and avoid a death. Ice Cave is before Pro Ring. Yeah. Right. Ice Cave is nasty. <laughs> and I can't wait to see what Ice Cave... See, I'm almost excited to see what the Ice Cave is going to do to me on this in this game. Uh, I will cast X Barrier here. Yeah, no sane person would ever go back to the Ice Cave. Yeah, probably in any version. Uh, no sane person would go back to that ice cave. You know, this this game also has a, a white spell that's called X Death. Funnily enough, so X Barrier defends against um, all of the elements. Um, oops, I can't carry that. Um, yeah. um, and then X Death defends against the death, the poison stone, and the and the earth. Um, I think the, the X barrier defends against like fire, ice, lightning, poison maybe? Or no, poison stone are the same. So maybe it's just fire, ice, lightning? I can't remember, but, but it defends against those. The laws of fairness mean nothing. Ah, that's nice. And that would be, that's a nice X, X death reference. I always appreciate a good X death reference. I've got plenty of ice too, so I'm just going to use my ice too. Good, there's that Soria down. Actually, I should probably... Ugh, should probably be worried about those Agamas, too. They're gonna be dumping cremates on me. Although this might take some of these guys. might take the Agama out. I hope it takes the Agama out. Nope, not quite. Not quite, huh? Let's have the Snow Staff target whoever's left. 
get a double on the Agamemnon. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's bad. Hate to see that. Yeah, that's gross. That's gross. One out of eight chance he was gonna target that guy and just got him. That's okay. I was too I was too cavalier about that battle, so I kinda deserved that. But that's okay because ZZ was the character, he was the most uh, he was the farthest ahead in experience. So um, this will just give my other characters a chance to catch up on experience a little bit. But let me see if he had uh, anything. No, he didn't have anything uh, of value that I wanted. All right, so let's head over um, to the uh, other side here and get this other treasure room. Whatever is in this other this other one. France is nasty. These, these mutants are pretty bad. These mutants are pretty bad. Uh, yes, yeah, so I, I'm, I can't, I can't confirm, uh, if the if the un, if the other one is unrunnable in this one, if if the volcano escape tunnel or escape portal is unrunnable or is uh, sorry, I'm, I'm going crazy, is spiked. The one in the earth cave is definitely spiked. There's two spiked squares in front of it. Um, this one, I'm assuming it is, but I haven't actually tried it yet. So this one is in, it's in kind of a tricky spot because it's just right before this final floor here. Your, your escape um, portal is right before the last floor. So, you know, you, if you're already down here, you might as well just go for it. But that mutant uh, was pretty tough. The having trance is pretty, pretty tough. Yeah, it's fair, it's fair assumption. I, I mean... I think it's right. Alright, so here I'm going to be dealing with more of this stuff. So I still haven't actually seen what's in that chest, but I'm assuming it's good. If it's protected by this much stuff, I'm assuming it's going to be good. Alright, we got rid of him. He's not going to do anything because he's been slowed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have another, uh, another dragon fight, I think, here. Yep, there we go. And another Ice 2. Yeah, I wish I hadn't lost that other Red Mage, but it was my fault for being as cavalier as I was about that. I was, I was too confident about my, uh, my, my status here, but I should never have forgotten that uh, you're always just one, one bad RNG roll away from catastrophe. Alright, he got one ice two off at least. If he had gotten stoned right away, it could have been a long battle. Ooh. Really bad roll on the uh the Soria there. Really bad damage roll on the Soria. But that's okay, this should take the Soria out. No, I should remember that the attack hates me. I should never forget that this is a very, very tough pack. We still not enough from him. We get the Agama. All right, we got the Agama. All right, so it looks like it's, I'll at least find out what what's in here. What's in this chest? 
I'll at least find out. And if I if Carrie ends up killing me. Ooh, I thought I had uh, spread my attacks around a little bit better. I hadn't. It appears. Because I'm gonna have to fight those trap squares on the way out as well. Atlas Gauntlet, okay. Oh, it's another Atlas Gauntlet. Okay, that's actually, that's really great. Atlas Gauntlet is a really nice piece that lets me cast Saber on myself. And actually, let me look up um, all of the Atlas stuff real quick. If you don't mind, I'll pop the I'll pop the readme up in front so we can all see. If that's distracting, I'm sorry. But, um... I'm going to take a look and see if the Atlas armor does anything. Why don't I steal? A oh, Axis armor. Protect and fire knife, that's good. Okay, the Axis shield protects against fire knife. And the Atlas gauntlet casts temper on itself. Yep. Cool. So that's definitely a worthwhile piece of armor to go after. So I'll have to remember that even if I do get nerfed here, those armors and shields uh, are worth going after. So actually I should spread out the um, the shield and the and the armor, the axis shield and armor. I should spread those out so that they can both benefit from that protection. I was getting I was getting axis and atlas confused. We all should be protected from fire now. Oh, your readme uh, was in a weird format. Okay, I'm sorry. Do you do you want me to send you mine? I can send you a link to it or something. I can put it in Dropbox and send you a link to uh, to my readme. Unless you're just like totally done and ready to not ever think about this game again. In which case, I totally understand, but I, I would happily do that if you would, if you want me to. Just, you'd have to leave me a note and I can just do it when, when I finish streaming today. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll always have it, so if you ever do need it, just feel free to, uh, to let me know. Unlike current. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, feel free to let me know if you ever if you ever have the desire. Um, and and if he if he puts the the small changes in that he mentioned to me, um, and puts up a new edition, maybe he'll put up a new version of the readme, and then you can uh, you can get a, a new version that way. Oh, are we all slowed? I I should have been watching more closely to see who was slowed. The top guy's definitely slowed. He's not slowed. I don't know if my middle guy is slowed. Ooh. Again, I was lucky to... Um, he said the small changes, um... One of them he mentioned... I guess I hope I'm cleared to share these. I assume I am. I assume he wouldn't have told me if he meant them to be secret. Um told me he was thinking about opening up the the mountain path to the uh, earth cave. Um, he didn't mention the heal. The only one he mentioned was just the mountain path to the earth cave. He didn't mention the heal bug um, at all that I saw. So, um, and I haven't, I still haven't actually gotten anything to cast heal two on me. So, uh, I haven't done that part. Or are these all chests in here? If these are all chests, that's going to be very interesting. If these are all chests, I might actually just go after Carrie now, and then maybe come back to the chests at a different time. Okay, these are all chests. Because I don't think I have the resources. Yeah, I have yet to recreate it myself. Yes, that's, that's true. Okay. 
So those these are all chests. So what I'll do, I'm going to I'm going to take on Carrie now if I can. And then I will come back for the chest another time. Okay. Well, if I can get it to happen to me, I'll pass on what I see. Um, who I should have healed my top guy before I started running around. Yeah. I should have healed him. And I'm running so low on, on heal potions. There's the last one. Is this carry? Oh, that's another chest. Uh, yeah, gold leaves, I, I'm... That chest could have been important. Any of these could be important. Uh, and I am going to come back and get them, but I'm going to try to fight carry and warp out and save. Uh, if I can. Because I, I, I do plan on coming back to get them. But I, I'm just, I'm totally out of, of heal, out of heal potions. Oh, and this might, this may be an un unrunnable fight. Shoot, I forgot that this combo tends to be unrunnable. Uh, and I'm not sure what all of their weaknesses are. Yeah, it could contain an, another pro cape. The pro cape won't be specifically as helpful against carry, though. Like I think I'm, I think I'm ready to take carry on, um, and but but I will definitely come back down for for those ones. But I'll have to do it when I have some more potions. Because if I go and get them now, I will I'll die for sure, probably before I even get to carry. Um, and then I'll have to come back and do all of this again. I'd like to to bank some progress here. I mean, carry still might get me. I don't, I don't even know where she is. Oops. Who I need. And I'm going to have to fight her in kind of a weakened state here. Yeah, you're making fun of me for casting Fire 3. You know. Yeah, as it is, I don't really have... Okay, there's Marilyn. Alright. Well, I'd like to at least get a look at what she does. Um, you know, she may she may totally take me out, but there's no way I'm getting out of here if I try to get out of here now. Um, so, yeah, and I don't have any other way to heal. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just get him up in the front because uh, if I can if I can find a way to beat Carrie somehow. Then, um, then I can get out of here, save, and then come back in. Ooh, if cash overflow is a thing? I don't know if cash overflow is going to be a thing in this one. Alright, I can get X, X barrier off. And both of these guys have an Atlas armor. Alright, her first turn was Flare. Alright, so let me see what kind of damage I can do to her at least. Okay, so he actually does pretty good damage. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> XXXX. Nice. Look at that, that's hilarious. She has XXXX. Um, and you need... That's, that's a... Um, that's a 300 hit point threshold spell. Yeah. That's a 300 point uh, threshold spell. So, now we know that Carrie has XXXX. Nice. Now we know that Carrie has XXXX. All right. Well, here we go again. Yeah, I'm doing it the way the designers meant me to. Going down there, dying, getting killed, 
this is a true uh, hard type hack experience, even even over leveled as I am. Still getting killed. But now I know where the stuff is that I need. So I'm gonna go after that Axis shield. <laughs> Why not call it Slay? Yeah. You could argue that it's the, uh, the dirtiest of all Final Fantasy spells. And nobody clearly, uh, took any offense to that. So, okay. I will think now, while I'm going down there, how I can best, uh, save enough stuff for carry. Maybe, maybe just go straight down to carry, skip, um... No, I still want the Axis stuff. I still want that Axis armor, because that's going to protect the, or the the Axis shield and Axis armor and Atlas gauntlet. Yeah, Rub and 4Xs. Yes, they are quite suggestive. You're right about that. So I, I will still want the Axis stuff and that Atlas gauntlet. Those are going to be very, very valuable. For down there. Um, let, me, let me just see what kind of resources I'm sitting at when I get down there. Because again, heal potions are going to be my, my limiting factor. So I'll try to run from more stuff if I can up here. If it tells me I can run, I'm going to try a little bit harder to, to get out of it. I'm going to be doing stuff like this, taking crits like that. That are going to just drain me. At least the dungeon doesn't take very long. And once you know the layout of it, doesn't take all that long. See, like these, I would have, I'd like to run away from these guys, but uh, not so much. Not so much. Yeah. Yeah, no, Gold is on that, on that final floor, that, yeah, that Atlas Gauntlet, I'm definitely gonna want that, but maybe I'll try fighting Carry without it, um, but I'm definitely gonna want that going forward, because it, um, it casts Temper, but it, you're right, I might be able to get Carry without that thing, and then I can get that when I come back to clear the, uh, the final area, and then I can use Carry's Warp Out tile on the end, so if I can get the stuff going down to it, so really just the Axis Shield. We said that right, the Axis Shield and the Atlas Gauntlet are two different things that, that both sound, uh, sound alike. You know, that's a good idea. Well, Liz, maybe I will do that. Oops. That's what, uh, that's what Dash does. Maybe I'll try fighting Carry without without that extra Atlas Gauntlet, but I'll definitely want the other. Um... Look at that now! Look at that nonsense! Squinted out of existence. That upsets me. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna reset on that one if you guys don't mind. Yep. Yep. Slay, Slay was okay. Slain. But, uh, yeah, kill was not very good. <laughs> yeah, that is a tough issue. Hello, Shahali. Thank you for stopping in. This is my, I don't know, this is my fourth or fifth trip into the, uh, the volcano here. I'm hoping to, uh, I actually made it to carry once, but I had a char couple characters dead and was totally out of heal potions and couldn't get my, uh, get my, get my guys up. Cause, so that XXXX is a 300 point threshold spell. So if, um, if you have more than 300 hit points, it, you're totally immune to it. Now, sadly, I was totally out of heal potions when I got to carry, so I couldn't get any of my characters up over 300 points. Uh, to avoid that XXX, because normally, 
that would be not a problem for me. But, um, yeah, sadly not. Yes, Jahali, uh, Zonk Miles did left a message, or left a uh, comment on the YouTube videos that I had uploaded of these same streams to my YouTube channel. Uh, just thanks me for, um, for streaming and for the feedback, and, uh, just hoped I was enjoying them. Yeah, he did mention that he was thinking about making a couple of small adjustments. Uh, one of them being making the Earth Cave easier to access, um, cutting out that, that extra long uh, spiral. He was thinking about cutting that part out. I would agree with cutting that part out. Because um, I would say if, you, if, if your goal is to have the dungeon be a really resource-draining um, experience, like the volcano is here, if you want to have the dungeon be very intensive, uh, you might as well not have the world map be just as long and grueling. Make the dungeon grueling if you want it to be grueling. And with these with these hell bats, I just have to hope I get some attacks up before they get slow. But uh, but yeah, Ark, if I can manage to get that heal to uh, freeze thing to to proc. Um, I'll have it on stream and on video, of course. So if I can get that to happen, I will. I can send that over, and um, he can maybe take a look at that. So that's another thing I have to worry about here: is those those perilous, um, squinting my guys out of existence. Oops. Yeah, this is one I want to run from. Okay, so things I want. Out of this one, I want the I want the pro ring and the axis uh, shield and armor. I'll go after. Uh, I'll skip that other atlas gauntlet though for now, and the other treasure room down here. And I'll just have to come back in another one because I just don't have enough heal potions. Was it? I was on this floor when the perilous got me there before. That's not bad. Made it past the perilous, at least on that floor. This is one I can run from. I need to heal up my front man there. Um, I am not sure, Art, how um, ZZ knew I was streaming. I don't know if somebody uh, tipped him off that somebody was streaming, or if um, he just maybe searches for um, his, his Final Fantasy ZZ hack every now and again to see if anybody's doing anything with it, and he found me randomly. All right, good. We got out on the first one. So I don't know how he found out. I didn't, uh, I didn't ask, because I didn't actually... You know, we communicated, and I say that with quotes because it was just a comment on a video and then I put a reply comment on the same video. So, uh, we're not, like, in touch or buddies or anything. But, um, I mean, I'd be happy to to be in touch with, with ZZ, to, uh, and if he has any more questions or wants more feedback, I'd be happy to, to give him more thoughts based on what I've seen with this rather limited party. Um, it looks like a, you know, a, a good number of people did playtest this, because that's what a lot of the, a lot of the videos I saw on YouTube of this are many people running test runs of it, uh, when it was still kind of in beta testing. Of, or they're of older versions. I might be the only one with uh, with streams of the this current version, this 
version. Alright, so I wanted the Axis armor that was up here. Or the Axis shield, I think it was. Yeah. And I'll get the... Yeah, this was a spike square. Um, I'm not sure if the damage tiles are still one. I think they are, because I've run through an awful lot of them, and uh, I'm not all that worse for wear. It seems like that would be a, that, yeah, that would be a tough that would be a tough thing to have to deal with to have tougher uh, tougher damage tiles, especially with heal potions as limiting as they are. All right, let's see if this can get those other gargoyles out of there. Good, good, good. Excellent. Okay, yep, that's right, I forgot. And, yeah, we'll give you the Axis Shield first. And then, uh, we'll switch the Axis Armor... ...later. Okay, so the Axis Shield, uh, defends Fire and Ice, as does the Axis Armor, so that's, that's why I want to get the Axis Armor also on that final floor there. Alright, so Glance is not so bad. Glance is fine. I can handle Glance. Um, squint I don't want to deal with. Alright, and these are like houses and stuff, and many of these are not defended, so I'll just grab these. Because uh, I've yet to see a house for sale yet in the game, so it might be that they don't show up in shops. So I would like a few more of those, because I'll be using a house probably when I come out of the dungeon here. Although I'll, I'll have to go back and restock up on heal potions before I come back down to get uh, some of these other items that I need down in this down in this place. The way it looks, I was hoping to get a look at the, the ice cave uh, this stream. But I might, I'm, I may end up not having time for that, because <laughs> I can stream till about 4 p.m. or so my time, maybe a little bit after that. So I have about another hour or so left of streaming time. So if I get carry and then get everything on the very next attempt, uh, I may still get a look at the ice cave. But I was hoping things would go a little bit more smoothly, but it took me a long time just to find the volcano with the way the world map has been changed. And then, uh, of course, navigating the volcano has been quite a quite an experience. Yep, two thousand gold. There you go, Ark. Oh shoot! I, was I forgot that that was the one that just had two thousand. I should have remembered that that was the. That was the 2001, because that wasn't. That's not worth all the damage I'll be taking from these fires, because they hit so hard. Let's see if this takes him out. Not quite. Didn't get the crits I needed there. Let's go before he does. Nope, not quite. I think in this one they they did keep the fix though, where um. The turn order has been fixed. I think that has maintained in this version. It seems like uh, the turn order is better. I, I can't say that for sure. But it seems like the turn order is, is where you want it. Um, and I'll get this one first, because this is the pro ring. I, cannot, I can't now remember what was in the other one. I can't remember. If it, I know it was also trapped. All right, glance is not great, but we can we can deal with that. I remember there was also traps, but I can't remember if it was something that I need or not. Shoot. I should have been taking better notes. But that's why when you're fighting these Sorias, I, I almost always have everybody 
to go after the Soria, but these Agamas can hit just as hard, which is also frustrating. Because that cremate attack hits everybody, and they can uh, physically attack for quite a bit too. The Agamas are definitely stronger than they are in the, the vanilla version. So at least, um, yeah, at least that character being stoned saved him from some of that damage. Drop this extra. Oh, oh, yeah, I'll drop the shadow armor. I don't need that. Because the, uh, the shadow armor I can't equip. Switch everybody around. Again. And now we heal. So that should be good for healing, and let's get that Pro Ring equipped. Yes. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it on this one. Okay, this this battle's not as bad. Although I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to that Mage Gauntlet um, because that defends Fire and Ice. So when I get to carry, I think I well, yeah, no, that should. I should keep the pro rank because Carrie has that XXX attack, so in case she gets under uh, 300, I can keep the pro ring on. So never mind, I will keep the pro ring on. Dragon Warrior 3 had a spell called Iron Eyes. Okay. That's an interesting ability. So you just, you, you turn yourself into stone, basically. Alright, so that's just money, so. If I do have to come back here, heaven forbid I do. That's the exit, that's the warp out. Uh, tile there. All right. So just grabbing this one piece of armor, and then we're gonna go down and fight Carrie. Actually, I'm just gonna run. What am I doing fighting if I don't have to? All right, and I'm gonna make sure everybody stays alive. I'm not gonna be cavalier about it. I'm gonna hit him with everything I've got. And be generous with my heal potion use. I think I skipped the trap square there. I think I figured out that there's a, there's one in the middle of that uh, of that area. I have a feeling my ice twos are not gonna be very good against carry, so I'm just gonna use them now. I think Carrie resists of magic pretty pretty heavily. I was doing pretty good damage to her with physical attacks. So I think once I get X Barrier, should be good. Um, levels, I am sitting at uh, like level 32 and 33 are the levels that I'm sitting at. Ouch. Going after my red mages. Yeah, so I'm I'm like five or six levels higher than I was uh, at the Earth Cave. So still a lot higher than what um what ZZ uh, recommended a normal Earth Cave run would be, so I presume still a lot higher than what uh, a regular Volcano run would be as well. Yeah, and it comes in... I, I have... my party has tons of offensive output, but for some reason these enemies really are... Um, are still doing a bunch of bunch of damage. That, that's what I'm really seeing here is I can put out a lot of damage, but these enemies have, their, their attack values are so high that they're still piling on the damage to me. That even with, even when I've, with I've, when I've got the best armor you can get, and uh, levels as high as they are with, with all this extra hit points, is that I'm still not able to survive a, a lot of punishment. Okay, that's right. 
Alright, so I'm going to drop my... Drop the silver armor from him. Alright, so these will defend against fire and ice. So I've got fire and ice defended there. Um, from the active shield and the active armor. Alright. Um, I'm going to trade the Atlas Gauntlet down here to him. And actually, what I, yeah, when I fight Carry, I may even move one of my mages up to the front. Yeah, multiple Warmex. And then there's a there's a new enemy, I think, in this one that's called Death Machine. I think that's like a, um, a souped-up Warmex. If, if you can believe that, or if you want to believe that. Lance Stone, there we go, that's nice. Right off the bat. But uh, yeah, Ark, to your question before, I, I've been thinking about that more. What will the game look like when I can't just, uh... When I can't just out-level them? Uh, yeah, the Mage Gauntlets don't cast a spell. I'm hold. I just, I have, uh... They, they have a, a resistance to fire and ice. I do have one extra one, one more than I can equip, and I can I can dump that one. Because um, I can't remember how much they sell for. Um, but they do resist fire and ice, so I do want to hold on to those in case I ever need a resistance to that. But there's one that I can dump. So I, I, I will be dumping that one soon. Probably. I don't know why I'm holding on to it more for sentimental reasons, I guess. Because <laughs> it's been doing me so well. There is a, a red mage specific set of armor and a shield, I think. There's like a there's red armor and red shield that are specific to red mage. Oops. Well that wasn't here before. This must just be a regular random red D battle. But everybody should Ooh. You can imagine just lots of dying, yep. Alright, so 40 heal potions. Yeah, so I think I'm going to follow your advice and just go right after Carrie here. Um, and try my best with uh, the setup I've got. So I think I have to go... I can't go straight down. I have to go down here. Or no, it's over and down, and then over and down and around. All right, and this is a can't escape battle. Oh, you think get the atlas and then warp out? You think get the atlas and warp out, and then come back down and try to get carry that? I guess I could do it. I'm not. I'm not far from that warp point. I'm not far from that warp point. And I guess it doesn't take me very long to get down here, especially since I've gotten all the treasures. Alright, maybe I'll do that. I've got, I've got three, three trap squares here in a row. Uh, and I don't have any more ice twos, but I've just got ices. And... Oh, I forgot. Who has the snow staff now? Well, I think it's still... Still must be on one of the fighters. And that's the, that's the worst possible start to this battle, is to him cast slow. That's the worst possible way for that gargoyle to start this battle, is to get slow off before any fighter is gone. Because it just cuts my damage so, so heavily. Now, 
doing 30 damage to those fires is just that's a that's a huge loss to have to take in damage. I'm glad that fire missed. That uh, that was actually quite a lucky miss to have him. Yeah, there we go. That's the attack they wanted to do. 100 damage to my mage there in the back row. And I don't have any way to fast my guys. I just I don't have access to that spell. I have plenty of spell charges in, in the level where I could use fast. But just don't have access to it. Alright. And actually, I prefer the red dragon fight. These are actually a lot better for me to get, as long as it doesn't get uh, a turn right off the bat to start me with the big multi-target blaze spell. Alright, that's not bad. Let's get him. Cool. See, I much prefer those red dragon fights than, than those multiple, multiple enemy battles than these things. Dealing with these Agamas and Sorias is, uh, pretty bad. And there, he started with Lance, but he missed. So at least my fighters are still going to be here, and they're going to be rocking it. I have to remember to switch that snow staff over to my other red mages. There we go. Yeah, the Agama, the buffed up Agamas are kind of scary. Let's do that. Let's switch that snow staff over. And yeah, I think I was switched off for the sun staff. That's right. My one go attitude is not good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be doing my doing all my dungeons in uh, in several. Oops. In several pieces. All right. So now we've got that set. Okay, so FF3 shoots for that, to have you kind of clear out little bits at a time. Yeah, this bad, that final dungeon, boy. After watching uh, poor B. Marie play through that final dungeon, that's pretty rough. Alright, let's see if I can get out of here without too much damage. Beat the entrance. Clear Eureka. You just go one little bit at a time, go out and save, and then go out and save. Yeah, that's going to be how I have to approach probably a lot of these dungeons. And then beeline for boss. Nice. Yeah, so I might... All of, all of my... My streams might just have to be one, one dungeon stream. One dungeon today, one dungeon the next day. Ooh. Yeah, I actually considered moving the, uh, equipping the, the mage gauntlet again on the pro ring guy. So that he could resist that. But, um... I didn't. Alright, so yeah, level 34, baby. That's good. So the NES version, you can't teleport out. Alright. So speaking of teleporting out, I think that's what I'll do here.
suggest getting ghoul overs all together? Aww. You don't like my ghoul overs? This is a really nasty battle, with me being out of ice, too. Okay, so the Flo missed my, my first fighter. So he still has a chance to do some damage if I can get rid of those guys before they cast another one. Alright, never mind. They're all, uh... Fighters are all nerfed. This is going to be another long, draining battle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know, I know the ghoul over. I mean, the reason I just stuck lots there and just forgot about it was was because uh, I didn't want to be bothering with it. Eventually, I would like to, on some other version, <laughs> use that again. But I was just didn't. Uh, I was too lazy to. Um, I, I was just too lazy to take it off of my layout. And figure out what to do with that with that uh, screen real estate. I'm not as creative with um, with backgrounds and things as some other streamers are. I probably could be if I worked at it. I could uh, probably create more with the background. But uh, I consider my my stream quality. All right, so let's see just how trapped all this stuff is. I might as well just get my guys as close to full as I can in case this is really nastily trapped. Alright, a red dragon. Not so bad. Alright. There's one. Here's two. Alright, it's another one of these. Alright, and he started with slow. Alright, well at least one fighter dodged the slow. I tried to I tried to target everything on the on the hellbat to get him. I tried to get him before he could get slow on me. My top fighter can still do uh, all four hits. So in that way, uh, putting putting the warp tiles down here near the end, uh, that's a little bit of a, a forgiving part of this game. That he provided warp tiles for us down here by the end. And at least I'll be a couple levels higher now going forward. Oh shoot, I was going to move my um, Chuck. I was going to um, move the the snow staff down to that character because he still has some ice one charges left. I was going to switch my st snow staff around, but that's okay. It's not like it does a ton of damage anyway. Yikes. Speaking of doing a ton of damage, though, that giant sure did. Well, in a real pinch, it's not very useful. You're right. If I really get stuck, uh, it's, it's not great. But uh, in, in situations like this, it helps me clear out, you know, a few things. At first I was like, well, why would there be a, a warp tile there in in one, uh, in, in, you know, one floor from the end? Why would they put a warp tile there? Uh, I'm not going to... But, uh, but now that I've seen just how draining that last floor is... Uh, it, it's nice to have it here. But, uh, but you're right, if you lose two, uh, the, the spike squares going to the warp tile, uh, will, will get you. 
Alright. Jeez. So, like, I just barely made it out with that. Alright, so it's back to uh, Provoka. To, uh, to restock on our heal potions. Yeah, I mean, the trek back to town is, is likely to, to kill you, but, uh... Um, at least you can save and take and take multi... Yeah, that's what I was just thinking, Shahali, is that at least you can use a tent to get your way um, back to town. I have plenty of tents, so if I was having... If I had one character come out with just one hit point, like, I could use a house on him. I could just use all houses, cabins on my way back. But, uh, yes, Ark, why should I cast Temper in the Astos fight? I completely forgot that I just, I wasn't, I hadn't shifted my brain into Temper Works mode yet. At that last one, because I'm sure that's what you're referencing. Me fighting Astos, uh, in my restored hack game. Once I'm on that grass there, I'm going to be pretty much home free. Look at that. Almost nerfed him on the way back. But one thing I didn't really do is, is I didn't explore much of that lower floor. Um, I know there's there's one more chest there in the bottom, but I wonder if there are chests on top as well. I may have to look at that a little bit. Uh, when I get back down there. I should be okay because I won't have fought a lot of those extra battles, so I should be okay to, to look around a little bit. At least I'll just have exactly by nine, uh, nine of these buy nine things to get full on heal potions so it shouldn't take too long. Definitely less time than doing it uh, in the vanilla version. Okay. And how are my softs and everything? 42 softs, 88 cures. Alright, I'm okay on everything else. So let's, uh, let's in up. So you think that, that the money wrap around, like my money might wrap around to zero? Uh, when, I, when I get past all nines, it'll wrap around to all zeros? You think that's possible? That was nice. Look at that. Six. 606 hit points for that fighter. That's nice. Good to see us over 600. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we'll find that out when we get there. Once I get the airship, I should be able to buy all the stuff I'll need for the end game. I don't, I, I, I need to look, um, I need to make a magic plan for my red wizards once, um, once I've made the job switch. Oops, not that one. I need to figure out exactly how I want to fill their magic slots uh, based on what the Red Wizards can learn, because I've got level 8 charges already um, at this level. So once I make the switch to Red Wizard, I should be able to buy all the magic that I'll need for the rest of the game, so that will be nice. When I unlock that airship, I will suddenly have three additional levels of magic. Um, so that should really help. So that might help answer that question of what will you do once you just can't grind the game to be better? Well, I'll have access to Ice 3, Bolt 3 for sure. Um, and I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what else. But they will have Temper, they will have Haste, they will have Life. I think they have Life. I think they learn Life. Okay, so in in Origins, can you you can unlearn um, a spell in Origins? I didn't I didn't know that because yeah, in, in NES you are definitely locked in with what you've got. All right, there's yeah, there's no going back in the NES version, and you can't even move them around, so it's. Uh, 
if your character learns Cure first, um, and then learns Fire after that, it'll have Cure will be first in your spell when you go to the menu, when you go to heal someone, but if you learn Fire first uh, from a Red Mage, then Fire will be that first spot when you go to the menu, so you'll always have to go select Cure in that level in the menu all the time. So that becomes a little bit annoying. Alright, no slow, but they've got the... Of course, they, they've got stun on their status attack. Which is nice. And they barely give me anything for a golden experience. That's why it's, it's tough running into those guys, these unrunnable battles that just don't give me anything. For golden XP. No, I should have I should have spaced those hits out. Oh well. I guess it wouldn't have uh, saved me much anyway. I forgot that those sphinxes do glance. Normally use fight usually it's one sphinx in this in this encounter set. Usually my fighters are taking them out in one hit. Like that. Usually they're doing stuff like that. I can't figure out why they're not, but I'll get a little bit of free healing here while I can. But uh, yeah, the, these white staves are just, they only cast Cure 1 on the user. That's the, that's the limiting factor uh, that makes them different from the all-powerful heal staff. It's not all-targeting, it's only self-targeting. Whoops. Soft. And it just does Cure 1, so it just does very, very little to only one character, so you can't use that to uh, keep everybody healed and uh, kind of regenerate. Hello, Handbag Hex. Thank you for stopping in. This is hopefully the the attempt that I beat Carry. I've come into this dungeon and, and out of it several times. I think that says Strike First, because I'm pretty sure this is not an unrunnable battle. So hopefully this is the time that I beat Carrie and get uh, whatever last little bits of treasure are on the bottom floor there. I hope I don't uh, spoil too much about the last little bit of the game. I know you said you wanted to play this semi-blind at some point. So I do appreciate you stopping in to say hello though. Yes, Ark. Ark's doing a little bit of truth trolling there. Yes, the original plan, because I thought like, oh yeah, I should be fine. I should be able to just clear out the volcano real quick and then go on and do the ice cave. But um, the joke was on me. But that's this, that's this hack. That's just uh, Final Fantasy ZZ being Final Fantasy ZZ. All right, good. So pretty good counter luck on the way down here. <laughs> Truth trolling, yes, that's the term I just made up now. <laughs> yes, I just I just made that up now. Truth trolling. And it's it's uh it's a it's nicer than trash talking where you're insulting someone. I think that's a no escape, because this is usually a no escape encounter. Trash talking is where you insult somebody, even if it's true, you're in insulting someone. But truth trolling is saying things like, yeah, originally this guy thought he was going to be able to go through the volcano. <laughs> yes, blunt bluntness is another way you could put it. Bluntness would be another way you could put it. Yeah, this, uh, this dork thought that he could go through the volcano real quick in the uh, ZZ hack. But he learned quickly that uh, there's no such thing as a dungeon crawl in the ZZ hack. And it's true. There is no such thing as a dungeon crawl in this game. 
this is nasty if they all get their ice attack off, although, uh, almost all of, uh, yeah, I think it's only the guy who has the pro ring is not protected from ice. Because the mage gauntlet defends against ice, so who's... I think the mage gauntlet defends against ice. It seems like it's not defending as much as, um, as much as the fighters are getting defended. Maybe I have it wrong about the mage gauntlet. I'd have to look it up, but I don't, I don't want to pull that up now. But it looked like my red mages took more damage than the fighters. Audio in the picture desync. Uh oh. Um. Let me see if I can do something about that. Let me see if I can... Alright, um... So the audio is still behind the, behind the picture. I don't know if I could, um... I could make a save state and reload the emulator. I'm gonna get. Let me get to these stairs here real quick, uh, to the next floor, and then I'll take another. I'll take a look at it. Um, I could make a save state and reload the emulator. Okay, didn't work. I'll make a save state and reload the emulator when I get to this next floor. Um, I'll do that here in just a sec. Started the emulator, and uh, we'll see if that did anything for us. Let me know if that's any better. But I can, uh, yeah, I can reset the stream if we need to do that as well. Okay, if it's still off. Okay, I'll reset the stream. Alright, resetting the stream now. Resetting the stream now. Alright, so just restarted the stream. So, hopefully when it uh, gets up into everybody's screen, uh, hopefully it does something when it gets up into everybody's screen. Alright, so here, here's a new room that's on the upper side of the, the final room, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a second since I'm streaming live. I'll wait a second until, uh, the stream gets reloaded. For everybody. Okay. Still didn't help, huh? So, I, um... I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look at it then. This, this is a treasure room on the, on the upper part of the bottom floor. This is on the upper part of the bottom floor. The audio is behind. Okay. Yeah, um... I can add a buffer to the video in OBS. Okay. Um, I might have to... I might have to do that. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry that that, that that happened, everybody. I'm sorry that that, uh, that that hit. 
Yeah, that is, I wonder what I wonder what happened. I wonder what what happened there. So the audio in the game. Dragon nunchucks. Well, don't need that. Don't need that. Try one second buffer. Okay. Um. Let me let me take a look. I've never done this before. <laughs> Is that replay buffer length? Try to get out of this battle. I'm sorry that the stream is having problems, everybody. Oh, that's right. This, these are unrunnable. I forgot these are unrunnable. Ah, I'm off my I'm off my game. I'm all flustered by the uh, by the stream having problems. with my stream acting funny like this. Alright. So... Is it just the game audio that's behind itself? I suppose it's probably hard to tell if my um, voice is behind where the game should be because they're not synced. Ah. Game audio is later than the action in the game. Yeah, it's hard to I know it's probably hard to tell about the voice. Um, but what, what kind of buffer setting is that, that I could, that I could add? What kind of buffer setting is that? Is that, is that replay buffer length? Because it's already set to one second, um, by default, unless it's a different thing. 